Hi viewers, it's Ket, and welcome to my Fun Weapons Breakdown Guide for Obby Mahler PKing. In this video, I will be covering the different categories of every fun weapon in the game, their uses, and how to abuse them, all while disclosing my personal favorite tactics I like to use to distract my opponents in PvP scenarios. Firstly, if you haven't watched any of my PvP videos, which I wouldn't know why you haven't yet, they are linked in the description down below, so go ahead and check them out along with my recently posted comprehensive Obby Mahler PvP guide to help you with the fundamentals of melee PKing for Obby Maulers. Now, I try to base my channel around informative material to help serve as an example for what the Obby build is capable of, so the simple fact that our biggest crutch is the lack of an overpowered spec weapon forces us to rely on any other means necessary to securing a KO. One of these ways is the incorporation of fun weapons and their ability to distract, mislead, and keep your opponent's eyes off their HP bar as we sneak in for that finishing blow with our maul. Now, I do consider the usage of fun weapons an intermediate or expert level activity, but by no means necessary do I discourage you to use them in your fights. Go ahead and try them out. Try something new. Become familiar and experienced with one or more of these examples that I'm about to show you, and most importantly, have fun. Just have fun with your build. That's all that matters. I would also like to give a huge shout out to the first obby that successfully mastered the usage of fun weapons, LOL Pureful, as this was no idea on my own. He also creates some really great YouTube content, and I do encourage you to watch his videos for more examples of demonstrating why fun weapons are a signature feature to melee PKing on an obby. Important, make sure to switch each new weapon type from accurate to the aggressive style so that you do not gain any unwanted attack XP. Even if you are a runelight user and use the attack styles feature and have your other attack styles hidden, each newly equipped weapon you've never used before automatically defaults to the attack style. Many obbies accidentally gain attack XP by using new weapons, so please take the time to double check your attack style before using any weapon I'm about to show you in this video. Thank you. Alright viewers, so in this section of the video, we're going to be covering some of the weapons that you can use to cause a brief distraction during any fight between you and your opponent. So let's go ahead and check out what I have in my inventory. These are just some of my personal favorites of weapons that you can use to abuse the fakie element of a fight. So a fakie is something that you want to switch into and not actually hit your opponent with. Now you can occasionally hit your opponent with one of these weapons because they have either cool uh, swipe animations or just to throw off your opponent even more. But essentially you just want to make sure that your opponent is constantly on their toes and in a state of disorientation and always just constantly asking themselves why are you bringing some of these weapons to a PvP situation. So I believe the funniest thing in PvP is smacking my opponent around using a blue right sword out DPSing them with like my RPG or Slayer Staff for example, false uh, switching into my blue right sword and then coming down with a huge obby mall smack because that, that is just so funny and so unconventional. They'll be screaming all the way back to Lumbridge and they'll essentially log out because they just got beat by a blue right sword. I mean, come on. Everybody knows that the blue right sword and all these other sorts of weapons that I have in my inventory are just straight trash. The blue right sword has a weapon speed of a long sword. So obviously we're not gonna be using this to cause any sort of damage and DPS output to your opponent. We're simply just bringing these along with us, one or two maybe, to just cause our opponent to just type or do any sort of thing or ask them questions because if they're doing that, they're not focused on their HP bar and that is the ultimate goal. If they're focused on their HP, they're gonna be eating higher and higher and higher and always above your max hit because they're gonna assume that you're hitting 55s with the Obby Mall, which is just simply not the case. 
Um, so this is just some of the reasons why we need to abuse these fakies and fun weapons to just make sure that your opponent is just constantly in a state of disorientation. So other weapons in my in my inventory, we have the carrot sword, which is just like the blue right sword. Um, it just has a really cool swipe animation. Uh, the cursed weaponry, these are easily accessible for Iron Men and they're, I mean, free from Diango. Uh, you have the Egg Whisk, which is something that's from RFD that you just never see. You have the Iron 2H and the Iron Sword uh, for free to play users or just anything. Like, why would you bring these weapons? <laughs> these are just questions that your opponent's gonna be constantly, constantly wondering is like, why is my opponent like with amazing stats just attacking me with an Iron Sword? Like, I don't get it. What's the point? That's not a good weapon. Um, so all, also we have the giant present, we have the giant Easter egg, and the birthday cake, which has a really cool walking animation. It shows that your opponent, or sorry, it shows that your character is just constantly just walking around with a very heavy load. And um, so some of these weapons are deemed as fun weapons, and they have really negative stats tied with them. And ironically, the crush stat is the least impacted. So sometimes you're able to use these in tandem with a recoil to whittle your opponent's HP down to a mark where you can hit with your obby malt. Because I hit 45s, for example, and every time my opponent's near 45, I'm always switching into my obby maul to get in with that chance because you always wanna take the chance because obbies have 100% KO potential as long as your opponent is down to a mark in which you can hit. And with your recoil can stack, your poison can stack, everything else, there's just so many factors. Um, I also wanted to include the pet rock. This is something that nobody really uses. I've never seen this used in my life. Um, this is not something that you left click because it has a interact. You always have to right click and wield, which is uh, really strange. But then again, it has a different animation and it's something you never see. So it's just, I just wanted to provide you that option. And the last weapons that I wanted to go over in my inventory are the prop sword and the candy cane. Now these weapons are very similar, but the only uh, real difference between them is the prop sword has a really special animation in the equipment tab that's accessible in a fight, which spells out RS. Now in a particular um, instance where you're uh, fighting your opponent, uh, this is something that you can use to cause a different layer of distraction. And we're gonna go over these two, but in a fight between a, um, a sand crab here, I'm just gonna demonstrate that you can do this animation in a fight but whenever you receive damage or or any other um some something that just causes your animation to be thrown off you will be knocked out of it but the rs will still be spelling out so you can move with this like so and it'll still spell it out but the slash animation will be interrupted with any other action so now that we have a foundation laid for the malleable usage of fun weapons, let's go ahead and dive right on in to items or weapons that can cause other sorts of distractions in a fight and can work in your favor to secure a kill in PvP with your Obby Mauler. So in my inventory, I have a bunch of different items. This does not include all of them per se, but it does uh, include the vast majority of them. And I'm going to be going down the list one by one as each of these items have different uses and different practicalities attached to them. So the first one that I have is any leagues trophy. And if you've missed this item by chance, you will have a second opportunity again and again because Jagex is finally releasing Leagues 2 available very, very soon. And I hope that the trophies from Leagues 2 actually keeps the same emote. So the emote is accessible in the equipment tab, much like the prop sword, where it does demonstrate an emote like this. So one more time chink i just love the chink at the end just take a look at that chink <laughs> anyways uh so this emo allows you to conceal the main hand weapon if you do in fact switch it so if you have a slayer staff in the main hand and you switch to your obby mall it will be a hundred percent hidden and i will demonstrate just with another weapon you do not see that weapon swap there so it's pretty neat 
um, and you can do that and if you do receive damage you will not be knocked out of it, this animation unlike the prop sword that i just went over this i this animation will fully continue in its desired effect okay uh, so moving on in the same row we have the fishbowl which has a multitude of different options that shows your character um, basically just like playing with the fishbowl and it does always come up with this chat option which is rather annoying um, and I'll show you that all of these have in common is that you are knocked out of the animation if you are attacked or if something goes on with your character and the yo-yo just a bunch of different animations and uh, the tiger toy actually comes in different um, different forms as well you can access this by Diango this is accessed at Catherby by bringing the um, the guy at the shop a empty fish bowl filled with water and seaweed and you have to fish one of the little fish out of the pond um, it's it's like two seconds I believe believe so um, and then the yo-yo is actually locked behind the Christmas holiday event but these are all really lackluster because if you're in a fight let me just demonstrate this real quick you really have to time it right and every time that you do one of these animations you do get knocked out of it if you do receive damage and the tiger toy is pretty cool I guess it has a different layer of uh, distraction because it does have the uh, the text above your head grr so you can literally just like spam it as I'm doing here and it'll do the same way as well as the fishbowl this is exactly why I grouped them together as you have to really time these right so these are not really used too much but I did want to show you to give you some sort of options because they could be used hypothetically but they're just not as good as some of the other items in the inventory so let's go ahead and go down the next row alrighty so the next items in the inventory we have the rubber chicken and the stale baguette and these are very similar to each other because they both have a whack animation that I'm going to display on an opponent um, so basically the only differences between these are the accessibility so one is locked behind the Easter event and one is actually bought in the GE or accessible by the mystery boxes in random events so it's cool that Iron Man can actually achieve this item however it is a very costly item it's still an option so let's go ahead and find a lovely host oh look at this little guy so we can go ahead and whack our opponent whenever we have these equipped and this essentially shows a false swipe implication to your opponent which basically misleads your opponent into thinking that you actually did hit them when in all reality it does not intervene with your hitting um uh, rate so if you're constantly hitting him with their slayer staff you switch to this weapon really really quickly you do the whack animation and then in the best case scenario you switch into your obby maul real timely and you hit them with a big fat 40 on their face and make them sit that is the best case scenario and that's what it's used for it's used to trick up your opponent into thinking that you actually hit them when you didn't the next item is the easter basket and this is pretty cool it has a really awesome uh, run and walk animation where you just prance around skip around and it definitely throws off your opponent I mean you really don't see this ever and when your opponent is like really high highly stressed and does not know what's coming this is something that definitely will throw your opponent off for sure and just like the prop sword it has a special emote uh, that is accessible in the equipment tab what it'll do is it'll fling two random eggs and your opponent will just see all these sorts of colors on their screen and just shut down and it's really cool you can also fling into a weapon and it actually hides the weapon so boom you do not see that at all and in the best case scenario you can just switch to this with your obby mall and it all comes down to timing like i said so basically just practice 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 with these weapons and you'll become so much of a better PKer. 
The next items that we have in our inventory are the snow globe and the reindeer hat and both of these summon snow which is very very effective in distracting your opponent in the fight because it has a bunch of stars as the emo and then whenever you uh, whenever the emo is done it has the snow right underneath you and you can honestly click this and have a different sort of emote whenever your opponent's not attacking you now that uh, that animation is interrupted upon uh, damage so just keep that in mind and uh, the reindeer hat has the same effect only when worn so it has the emotes accessible in the equipment tab just like the prop sword it has the prance so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you and it summons the snow with with the gleaming red nose there so it's pretty cool it saves an inventory slot so if you don't mind PKing with this in the head slot it's actually pretty convenient and it provides some sort of distraction so um, I really do recommend that weapon and the next items we have in the inventory are the marionette the Diango's claws the slayer bell and the crier bell now let me just tell you these are definitely fan favorites. The marionette in particular is probably one of the strongest fun weapons because it does conceal so many of your actions. Let me demonstrate. It has one, two, three, four different animation styles with each having varying um, durations. So you want to go ahead and if you do have access to this uh, to this weapon, you do want to go ahead and test it out yourself. And the jump, walk, bow, and dance have uh, different timings. So I believe the bow is the shortest. And you have ones like walk, which are very, very long. Okay? And you're probably asking yourself, well, why would you use anything other than the walk? Well, I'm going to show you that. Um, these actually do conceal all different types of um, actions. So you can eat, you can repot, you can switch weapons, you can attack your opponent. It doesn't matter what you do during this animation, it will still register and it will conceal 100% of it. The real only downside to the marionette is that you are unable to move. So why, why is this important? Well, if you're range PKing, typically you want to move around and get to your opponent from a distance. But if you're melee PKing, you're right up next to your opponent anyways, just like this. So you're seeing that I'm doing one of the animations here and I'm continuing to attack the sand crab. And that's perfectly normal. That is exactly what's supposed to happen. Now you can, you can, uh, swap your weapons there and you will not see any difference so in best case scenario you come at them with an RPG switch to the mall and they have no indication as to what rate you're hitting them at they don't know what you even hit with them last so it's really really good and the only thing is you're unable to move so if I click the animation you have to fully stay in the animation the entire time. You cannot click anywhere else. So if your opponent is using ranged, you are screwed. You have to really use this weapon in a timely manner right up close to them and just hope and pray that they do not move one tile away. Now, the next weapon is the Diango's Claws. This is kind of cool because it has the same spec animation as real Dragon Claws, except for the fact that you know, it doesn't have the four hits, which is like the most OP part. But in a uh, fighting stance, um, it'll actually conceal all of your uh, moves, just like the marionette, and you won't be able to move as well. So it's something that you gotta really pay attention to. You can sw switch weapons, you can eat, you can do all sorts of things whenever you click the claws, and you can also just make sure that you are right next to your opponent whenever you do these because you won't be able to attack your opponent from far away now the next weapon that i want to show is the slayer bell and this is really cool it actually has a very loud animation so if your opponent is playing with game sounds on it's highly distracting because you can just keep spam clicking it 
you won't know if they're playing with game sounds, but it's actually just a just a random perk of this, and it'll hide everything. It'll hide a weapon swap. It'll hide a um, an eating animation. It'll hide just about anything. And the best part of it is, literally, this is the best part. You can actually move while doing this. So you can just click it once and move around, and your all of your actions will be concealed. So if you move around and switch a weapon in the same tick, everything will be covered. You won't have to worry about it. And the most beautiful thing is, check this out. This is only 100 GP. 100 GP. So think about that. These are also accessible with Iron Man with any Slayer Master. So bring your GP there and get you one of these Slayer Bells because you're gonna wanna use them. Now, in the event that you don't have the Slayer Bell, um, there's actually a different kind of bell which is actually wieldable, unlike the Slayer Bell. And this one has a different animation, the ring animation, but it's just like the Fishbowl and the Tiger Toy and the Yo-Yo. You will get snapped out of it during the um, animation whenever you fight. So I'll just show you this, the differences. If I hit ring, time this right so if I hit ring you see that how I raise the, the bell there yeah but if I do the Slayer Bell the whole animation is gonna carry out and there's no chance for your opponent to knock you out of that which is super super neat the last thing kind of that I wanted to go over is the zombie head before we get to these other cool nifty tricks here the zombie head um, is something that is very accessible because you can purchase it through the GE. Iron Man will have a difficult time with this as it is um, a clue skull reward. So the really cool thing about the zombie head is it has an automatic animation. Whenever you are hit as a defending animation, it actually shows your character hitting your opponent. So this basically implicates the false swipe of the rubber chicken and the stale baguette automatically but in order to use this weapon you kind of have to make sure that your opponent is actually attacking you in the first place every time the sand crab hits you you actually show that you're hitting them so what's cool about this is when you're wielding a ring of recoil your opponent will be hit at the exact same time that they do damage to you so that makes them think that you just hit them so if you time this right, hypothetically you can switch into the mall and get a really cool next tick mall hit on top of them because they won't know what's coming, they won't prepare to eat, and you basically just caught them off guard. It only works with books and with um, nothing equipped, okay? It does not work with any sort of shield whatsoever. The uh, defensive animation of the shield will trump the uh, the zombie heads and so you're basically just left you know using a useless weapon which is not what I want you guys to do um, it's not a glitch I don't know why it does this but the book and and uh, no offhand definitely works with this and it's still usable today so the last things that I want to show you today are more of just regular distractions that you can just implicate in any fight. And that would be your uh, butterflies and if you want to get really frisky, your bloated toads. All of these are really freaking cool and very underutilized. I've never seen anybody else use them particularly. So what you could do is have one of these butterflies in the jar and you can release them in the middle of a fight and you can have some sort of um, animation so it's pretty cool you can do a little animation just make sure that it's just like the fishbowl where if you do receive damage you will be knocked out of the initial animation but the uh, butterfly will continue to roam around you and the next one is really cool guys if you do want to take the time and gather swamp toads over in Feldup Hills and release them in a fight, you will become the top tier dude to beat. I'm telling you, this is the funniest interaction yet. 
you can release these totes and there is a release all button so if you happen to have like two or three in your inventory three at the max you can release them all at once so here we go we're gonna be releasing them yeah you go ahead and do that in a fight and your opponent's gonna miss timing their spec they're going to tab out they're gonna be like wtf what is going on my opponent knows so much more about fighting than i do uh they win i don't even care anymore i'm done <laughs> and literally <laughs> i've never seen it done before it is the funniest thing you will just get so many props i mean there will be people pking around you that will also get distracted it is so funny like i said everything is up to imagination and also to practice if you don't practice you can't get good at it and you can't get used to it you have the power to distract your opponent and that is the whole purpose of this video one more tip before I do end the video. Uh, if you do happen to misplace one or more of these items that I showcased, if they are categorized as fun weapons and accessible through holiday events, let's just say I destroy this marionette here, you can easily access this not by Diango, but also by your player owned household and your toy box if you have the con level associated with this. So all of these are in your personalized hub at your player owned household and you can easily grab one of these and infinitely destroy it and get it back which is one of the updates to construction in the past year so that's definitely one of my favorite tactics to use i always come to my household after every time that i pk so it's literally so convenient if you do train construction and i highly recommend that guys if you guys have made it to the end of this video, I really do want to commend you guys and thank you so much for your support. I really do hope that you've learned something through the content that I've shared with you today. And I do wish to see many of you obbies utilizing some of these tactics that I've shared with you as these are some of my disclosed personal secrets to PVP and how I've found my own success. Now these are all subject to change and you guys can come up with literally so many different options that I have not covered in this video. And I'm looking forward to see just how creative you guys can be in your tactics tactics towards pvp so thank you once again i do want to hear your opinion so comment down below to mention your favorite fun weapon that i've showcased during this video please subscribe to my channel for more timely obby related content and don't forget to obby mall that like button to continue to support my videos because i owe it to all of you guys my viewers i want to mention if you do not have an in-game home already Please join Obby Elite CC as we are the number one active Obby Mahler community in game with weekly events, drop parties, and the most helpful community to help you build your Obby Mahler. So please stop on in today and tell them that Ket sent you. Until next time, peace.